Hi, I'm Chris Stoops. Uh, I am the Director of Manufacturing at Geospectrum Technologies. A particle motion sensor such as our M20 hydrophone uh, is an instrument that allows the direct measurement uh, of particle motion. Uh, where particle motion is the movement of uh, a water particle uh, about an equilibrium position um, in you know, such circumstances as when a sound wave propagates through a medium. A particle motion sensor differs from a conventional hydrophone in a couple of ways. So a conventional hydrophone uh, is responds to sound pressure, typically omnidirectional, have a relatively flat response with respect to frequency, whereas a particle motion sensor responds to differences in pressure. Um, so with that, it has a increasing sensitivity, you know, with frequency uh, up to a resonance point. And importantly, it can provide information not only about the amplitude of the uh, particle motion, but also uh, the, mo uh, the direction of the motion. To record or measure uh, particle motion uh, in audio frequencies, you typically need an accelerometer. So our M20 particle motion sensor uses three um, directional accelerometer channels, orthogonally arranged, so to give you directional sensors in both X, Y, and uh, Z uh, orientations. Uh, with that, we have um, an integrated uh, omnidirectional uh, hydrophone, conventional hydrophone, for comparison of sound pressure and particle motion, and then uh, also an integrated compass, so you can tie the sensor reference plane to a magnetic magnetic bearing. Um, also really important for um, a particle motion sensor is the way you hold it. So we have an integrated suspension that's designed to give you know, minimum uh, input into the sensor. And then the rest of the system. So you have a deployment frame, um, a power source, or maybe a battery pack, and some recording electronics. two key use cases for a particle motion sensor such as our M20. So number one is where you need direct measurement of particle motion. So that could be um, at low frequencies in shallow environments uh, or complex um, sound fields where the relationship between particle motion and sound pressure is not as direct as it is in other environments. Um, so that could be you know, applications such as uh, ocean environmental research and you know, man-made noise monitoring. Second key use would be um, as a compact, low-frequency directional hydrophone. So, um, in these kind of instances, uh, because we get both uh, the magnitude of sound and the direction, then it gives us the ability with the sensor to track an object in the water, you know, um, and monitor both, you know, characterize its low-frequency sound and track it uh, with respect to a bearing. So, obviously, its uses in uh, marine uh, mammal observation. Uh, and uh, defense surveillance. Geospectrum's M20 sensor is a proven product with many years of production history. Working with our users, the latest generation of the sensor incorporates design features to minimize mechanical inputs and electrical self-noise, resulting in an extremely quiet sensor. Uh, and this allows for, you know, detection of quiet sounds within the ocean and greater detection ranges compared to comparative sensors and systems. I'm Chris Stoops and this was Ask an Expert with Geospectrum Technologies. Working... Eric! <laughs> Let's start again, man. <laughs> Video recording in process, like uh, so I knocked on the door. <laughs> okay, I'm a dummy. <laughs> creepy. Not creepy. Okay, you know it's it's tough now. <laughs> Where the relationship between sound pressure and particle motion. <laughs> we'll, we'll restart. Yeah? <laughs> do, do we get a cameo? Or? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Change that. <laughs> choo choo. Tell me, Mrs. E.